Hi everyone, it's Tazlyn here from Tazlyn's Kitchen Creations and for today's tutorial we will be crocheting a Barbie inspired bralette. So yeah, are we, I'm going to be doing this like as a go, I'm designing this as a go. I've kind of thought about it in my head about what exactly I want this bralette to look like. So I've jotted down some notes and things like that and measurements and whatever else. But today we're actually going to be crocheting it so i'm super excited and let's jump right into the materials okay guys so this is what we'll be needing for the materials so for the yarn um i have this tiger cerise yarn let me just get my camera to focus there we go so um this is charity double knit pull skein and um, it is 100% acrylic it is 100 grams it is approximately 233 meters or 256 yards it recommends a four millimeter crochet hook and this color is called tiger cerise so this will be our main color for our bralette i'm thinking that this is going to be for the rectangular piece of the bralette and then um and then this color here um this is called cranberry so it's the same kind of kind of yarn, same type of yarn, same brand, same everything. Just the color is just called cranberry. So this is going to be for the ribbing, the underneath part of it. Um, so I'm really super excited with how. Quite a while now, and um, I'm so excited to get this going. I'm so excited to start this with you guys. Okay, so that's the yarn. Um, we'll be needing a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. So I'm just going for 3.5 millimeter crochet hook so that I can get my stitches a little bit more tighter. Um, so yeah, we'll be using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. We'll be needing a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle. Um, we'll be needing a tape measure because you'll need to measure yourself. And I'll show you in a minute exactly what measurements we'll be needing. Okay. And then I'll also be using some ribbon. So this ribbon will be to tie up the... Um, to do a crisscross tie up at the back kind of like a corset and I'll also be doing some bows or some ribbon around the straps of the bralette so yeah I'm super excited with how this is going to come out guys I literally have like I've literally thought about this for like about two weeks um so yeah just as I did my belt tutorial um around that same period I was thinking about all of these aren't uh, these items that I want to do for this Barbie trend. So anyway, you'll be needing some ribbon. This ribbon is three millimeter ribbon. So not three millimeter, it is ten millimeters. Um so one centimeter thick ribbon, and this is the colour candy pink. So it's this nice, nice beautiful pink. You'll be also needing a lighter just so that we can burn the edges of the ribbon so that it does not fray um, so we can get that nice neat look to the ribbon and I also just have my fabric labels here I actually just had these made um, aren't they just beautiful um, unfortunately the designer had messed up the the labels it is not centered um, this labels off to the right a little bit um, my other batch of labels that I received was off centered vertically and horizontally so it was off to the right and towards the bottom of the label but it was their fault their problem and they are actually sending me 1000 labels for free because they had stuffed up <laughs> how crazy is that like I had asked for 500 labels um, or I ordered 500 labels and all of them were, were off centered which wasn't my fault because my design was 100% Anyway, but yeah, so they're going to be sending me 1,000 free labels. Isn't that beautiful? So I'm going to be using my sewing machine to sew on my label um, to my bralette once I'm finished with it. So yeah, I've added that to the list of things. <laughs> okay, so let's get started with this bralette. And actually, before we get started, I need to show you what measurements we'll be needing. Okay, let's get started. Okay guys, so as for the measurements of your, um, your bralette, uh, you'd want to take um, measurements of your bust. So you'd want to wrap your tape measure around your bust. Your bust is your biggest point, so your boobies basically. 
Um, so you just want to measure around your bust and I am a 36B if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, you just measure your bust. You must take note of that. Write it down. And you also want to get the height that you want your bust to be. So from just like maybe to where like your bra sits almost. So just underneath. So just about there. You'd want uh, the length of your, your bra or like your bra cup if you wanted to go with your bra cup. So like about there. So it's going to be a nice rectangular strip that's going to go all the way from under our arms across. Okay, so those are your two measurements that you would need. Okay, but when we are crocheting the bralettes, you would want to have your, um, you would want to have the, um, you want to have the total length of your bralette um, to be like 17 centimeters smaller than your bust measurement. That way we can cinch it up at the back or tie it up at the back so that it is um, nice and tight and it fits your body well. But we also do not want to stretch the stitches. So um, I've allowed for 17 centimeters, well not allowed, <laughs> I have minus 17 centimeters out of my bralette, um, but you can um, adjust the, that measurement according to how it fits on your body. Because obviously if you are a smaller person or a bigger person, that would vary. So you just got to see what would look best on you. Okay. So now we are ready to begin the bralette. So now I have my Tiger Cerise yarn here. Um, so this is like my hot pink. This is the main color that I'm using for the bralette. The main color. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to make a slip knot. <clears throat> so in order to do that, we are going to take our yarn, going to wrap it around our two fingers once, and then on the second time, we're going to cross over to form an X. And then you just want to hold that down in place with your pinky and your thumb holding down this tail end. And then what you'd want to do is you'd want to, you'd want to insert your hook underneath that front loop and then pick up that second loop, pull through, and then take your slip knot off your fingers and then pull on your working yarn and tail end. You're going to pull that. And then there you go. There is your slip knot. And then what you'd want to do is you would just want to chain a number of chains that is the heart that you want your bralette to be. So this is going to be that tube, that rectangular piece is going to run across your boobs or your bust. Um, okay, so I'm not sure what or how many chains I'm going to chain yet, um, but let's just see. So to do a chain, it's very simple. You're just going to yarn over and pull through. So that's one. Yarn over and pull through. Two. Yarn over. Pull through. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Okay. So I have done about 21 chains. So I added an extra chain for a turning chain. Um, so I've done a total of 21 chains as I said, but one chain will be a turning chain. So I will have 20 stitches. So now what we're going to do, after you've chained the number of chains that you need for the heart of your bralette. The heart of your bralette. Okay. So let's just say it'll be your cup heart of your bra, you know, like your cup heart. Okay. So I'm going with 21. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn our work, we're going to turn the chain towards us and then you should see, uh, you should see these back bumps over here. Okay, so we're going to be working into those back bumps and we're going to be doing half double crochet. So we're going to yarn over, insert into the next stitch. So we're going to skip this first chain and go into the next stitch, we're going to go into the back loop of that stitch. We're going to yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through those three loops. So you should have three loops on your hook, 
going to yarn over and pull through those three. You're going to yarn over, insert into the next back bump, going to insert into the next back bump, then you're going to yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through those three. Okay. And you will just repeat this all the way along, doing one half double crochet into each stitch across. So again, you want this length of the chains to be the height that you want your bra let to be. Okay, so it needs to cover your bust. Okay, so whatever measurement that may be, you need to chain to that measurement. And now we will be working on, on the length of this rectangle or the bra let. This will now give us, uh, what would you call it, that measurement that's going to go around our bust. Okay, so you can just repeat this. You can just continue placing one half double crochet into each stitch, into each chain across. And then I'll meet back up with you when we are ready to move on to the next row. Okay. Okay. So now I am just coming up to the last two chains and I am just doing my half double crochets as normal. Okay, so now I've reached the end and this is what our work should be looking like now. And then we can just chain one, so we're going to yarn over and pull through, then we're going to turn. Okay, so now this is what the back of our work should be looking like now. So what we are going to do now is we are now going to... We are now going to place one half double crochet into the third loop of the stitch. So essentially what we normally do is we're going to the top, the top V of the stitch. So we normally go through there, capturing that, that V that we see. But instead we're going to go to here. So this is the top of the stitch, just below that. Just below that there is like this horizontal bar. So it's like you have like a set of V's up here, then you also have another set of V's down here. And we will be going into these little side stitches. So we'll be going underneath these side little stitches. Um, so this is the third loop. So you have, you have the front loop and then you have the back loop. Of the stitch and then this is the th the third stitch that we go into here just underneath that back loop okay so we have already chained one so now what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over then we're going to find this first stitch and go underneath that that stitch we're going to yarn over pull through and yarn over and pull through three again we're going to yarn over we're going to find that next like horizontal bar we're going to insert, we're going to yarn over, pull through, then we're going to yarn over and pull through two. Okay, again you're going to yarn over, insert into that next, into the next vertical bar there, you're going to yarn over, pull through, then you're going to yarn over and pull through three. And now this is what it should be looking like. So it should be giving off this like ribbing kind of look, this kind of like knitted look over there, because it's pushing the V's or the top of those stitches forward. Yeah, so you can just continue this. And just continue this all the way across until we have reached the end. Okay, and again, your stitch count should remain the same. So if you started off with 20. Uh, 21 chains and we did a turning chain you should have 20 stitches and your stitch count should stay the same so I should have 20 stitches Okay. 
Yeah. And now when you get to the end, you just want to make sure that you go into that third loop there of that last stitch. And it should look something like that. Okay, so that's what it should look like now. Okay, so now we're going to chain one and turn. Okay, and now we're going to and now what we're going to do is we're going to alternate um, the the back loop row and the third loop row. So we just did the third loop row. Now we're going to do the back loop row. So now um, in order to do the back loop row, we're going to insert our, our crochet hook into this back loop only of the stitch. Okay, so we're going to yarn over. So we're going to yarn over, go into that first back loop of the stitch, yarn over, pull through. And yarn over, pull through three. Again, yarn over, insert into that back loop of that next stitch. You're going to yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, insert into the back loop of that next stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over and pull through three. Okay, so that's what it's beginning to look like now. It almost looks like knitting. I like some ribbing stitches. So we can just continue this, uh, placing one half double crochet into the back loop only of each stitch across. And we will essentially be repeating these two rows until we get the desired length that we want for this, um, for this bralette. So now I've made it to the last one now, and I am just doing my last turning stitch here. Okay, so that is what it should be looking like now. Okay, so I've made it to the end of the row, and now this is what it should be looking like. You can kind of see that ribbing now. So we're going to chain one and turn and now we are going to do the one half double crochet into the third loops now okay so we're going to go into the third loops again so we're going to yarn over go into this third loop so the loop that's like furthest down if that makes any sense you're going to yarn over and then pull through three you're going to yarn over go into the next vertical bar just there you're going to yarn over pull through you're going to yarn over and pull through Okay, so you're going to repeat this all the way across, going into that third loop, just underneath the top Vs of the stitch there. And you can just repeat this across. And yeah. So we'll basically just be repeating these two rows of the third loop row, then the back loop row, third loop row, and then the back loop row. So we'll just keep repeating that so we can get this nice, beautiful knit ribbing kind of look. I think this top is going to look absolutely beautiful when it's done. I literally have like this picture in my mind 
of what it looks like. I'll see if I can illustrate it for you and see if I can um, draw up like a quick kind of sketch of the way I would like this to look. So I will do a sketch, sketch up or like an illustration of what I want this bralette to look like. And then, yeah, I'll show you, I'll include it in the video when I'm busy editing. Um, but yeah, so I have this, actually, I'll just get my notebook out. So this is my notebook of notes that I was just working with. So this is um, what I was working on here. So this is this ribbing part here. Um, so that's that ribbing. And then I'll do a single crochet ribbing at the bottom. There's my bows. And then this is the back tie up over here so yeah I'm gonna have this pink ribbon so I'm gonna have this pink ribbon crisscrossing here at the back with the bow tie up and then I'm gonna make bows and join them or put them on the front so yeah that is a little sketch but I'll still do a nice little illustration because why not it's my first time that I would actually illustrate something for YouTube um, so yeah so I'm pretty excited with how this looks. So, so far we have made um, a belt, a Barbie inspired belt. And um, yeah, now we're crocheting this bralette. Um, I do have a Barbie inspired bandana that I would like to crochet as well. Um, but yeah, for now, let's just focus on this beautiful bralette. Okay, so yeah, we can just continue placing one half double crochet into the third loop only of every stitch across isn't that just beautiful? it kind of looks like the herringbone stitch to a point like it kind of looks beautiful the back as well <laughs> it's almost so that like I don't even want, want this to be the back because of how beautiful it is okay and then you just want to make sure that you go into this last stitch here on the side i know it may look like there's like nothing there um but believe me there is <laughs> okay so that's what the two rows look like isn't it just beautiful okay so we can chain one again and turn our work and then we can do one half double crochet into the back loops only so we're alternating the back loop only and the third loop only rows so again the back loop is going to the back loop of this top V. So the front loop is the loop that it's what's closest to you and the back loop is the furthest loop away from you. Okay. So this top is very very basic, very very beginner friendly. Okay. So yeah, you can just continue alternating these rows for the length that you need it and again you'd want to take your bust measurement minus 17 centimeters or whatever measurement um, fits you better so you can always um, just crochet this length up and just keep putting it up towards your body to see roughly where you want want it to be um, but you would want some gap between the back so that you can um, lace it up nicely at the back because you don't want to lace it up and then you basically tie it close like a shoelace kind of thing um, like you want to be able to see that crisscross pattern of the ribbon if that makes sense <laughs> okay so let's just continue with this I think this top looks absolutely beautiful I just love the way this is looking so far. I really, really do. Yeah. Okay, and your work will curl. It's just natural with co with crochet to curl. So don't worry about that. And again, you just want to make sure to go into this back loop here of that last stitch. It may look a little bit funny because it's on the corner and it doesn't look like a stitch, but believe me, it is. OK, 
Okay, so that is what it should be looking like now. It looks quite cool. Okay, so we can just continue with this alternating the back loop and third loop row. So the way to know if you need to do the third loop row is we'll be working on the wrong side of the work. So this is the wrong side and this is the right side. So the right side is where we have all of these grooves and bumps and things like that. And this wrong side is where it's rather flat, if that makes any sense. So we will do our third loop only row on the wrong side. And then our back loop row is on the right side. Okay. So you can just repeat this, these two rows until you get the desired length. And then I'll come back and show you what it looks like when that is finished. And then we can go on to doing the ribbon. Uh, not the ribbon, the ribbing. <laughs> yeah, the ribbing. Okay. So you can go off and I'll come back and show you what to do once we're finished with this. Okay. Okay, guys. So I am back um, after completing my length of uh, this bralette uh, that wraps around my bust. Um, it has actually been like quite a long time since I worked on this, to be honest with you. Um, college and my lecturer's blanket just uh, just took over my time. So um, it's probably a month after that I started this that I'm now actually coming back to this. Um, so yeah, anyways, um, after we have finished crocheting um, the body of our bralette, um, it is now time to end this off now. So I'm just going to uh, just end off. So I'm just going to insert my hook here and then grab my scissors, snip off our yarn, yarn over and pull that up and through and then just tighten that. Okay, so that is our bralette all nice and finished. So now what we're going to do is we can put our Tiger Cerise or our, our uh, bright pink yarn aside. Then we can get our cranberry. So I'm just going to get my cranberry out here. So glad that I'm finally sitting down to actually finish this bralette because it's it's been so long. And I need to make tutorials, so, yeah. <laughs> I'm so unhappy, I have to go back to college next week. And I'm so not happy about that, because again, all my focus goes into college. And then I don't have any time for crocheting and things like that, which is kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie, because this is something I enjoy doing, and what I love to do. But yeah, I just have to bite the bullet and just do it. Okay, so now I have my cranberry yarn here. And now what we're going to do is we can just choose a side, whatever side we want. Um, I'm just going to go for this top here because why not. So I'm just going to insert my crochet hook into that corner most stitch. Uh, where's my tail end now? There it is. <laughs> I lost my tail end. Okay, and then we are going to join our yarn. I'm going to take my yarn and just wrap it over my hook and pull through. Then I'm going to do a chain one. And then I'm going to do a single crochet just to secure my stitch. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, single crochet evenly across. But what I'm going to do, because I want this ribbing to fit quite nicely, um, not tight but like snug around my underbust, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some decreasing. So I'm going to maybe do three single crochets and then a decrease. Okay. And then another three single crochets. Okay. So... Um, I'll show you now how to do the decrease. So that's one, two, three. So 
So to do the decrease, you'll insert into a space, then a yarn over, pull through, you'll have two loops on your hook. Then you'll insert into the next stitch, you're going to yarn over, pull through, then you'll have three loops on your hook. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops to do a single crochet decrease. And then you'll just continue this. You will just continue this, placing one single crochet. So you can do the decreases however you think you need to do the decreases, if that makes any sense. Because obviously each, each body is different. Um, so I am just going to do th uh, three single crochets and a decrease. But you could do four, you could do five, you could do any number that you think um, that could fit. Yeah, so you can carry on with this and then I will meet back up with you when we are ready to move on to the actual ribbing. We are now just um, making some stitches to work into. For the ribbing and yeah we are also decreasing the bottom so that it fits around us quite nicely okay so you can go off and continue this and i'll meet back up with you when we are finished with this okay okay guys i'm, I'm back because i just quickly kind of forgot that um i did not teach you how to do the single crochet stitch um so anyway to do the single crochet stitch you'll just insert your hook into one of the stitches you're going to yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through two to do your single crochet and again you're going to insert into the next stitch yarn over pull through and then yarn over pull through okay so you can continue placing three single crochets and then a decrease all along the bottom edge of um, of the bralettes and these stitches will act as a, as a foundation for when we do the ribbing stitches. I'm so used to just crocheting <laughs> uh, so yeah apologies for that um, but yeah so I'm just gonna carry on and then yeah I'll meet back up with you as I said when um, I'm ready to do the ribbing. Okay, so now I am back and I have finished crocheting along the length of my bralette here. So now what it's time to do is we're now going to work the ribbing. So in order to do that, um, we are just going we are just going to chain up the number of chains that we want um, for for the length of the ribbing. So I think I'm just going to maybe chain a number of chains until I think is the like the length that I want. So let's see. One, two. So I'm just going to chain an additional one for my turning chain. And then what you would want to do is you just want to turn your work and then after doing our number of chains that we want for the length of the ribbing that we want we are now going to work into these chains so we're going to insert a hook into the second chain from the hook we're going to yarn over and pull through and then yarn over pull through two to do your single crochet again you're going to insert into the next chain into the next chain then you're going to yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through two. And then you just, you will just repeat this across. Until you get to the end of the chain. Yeah, so I'm just gonna keep the camera rolling because I'm like almost at the end here already.
Okay. Okay, so now I'm just doing the last stitch here now. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch into that first stitch from, from the beginning and then slip stitch into the next stitch. And then what those slip stitches essentially do, it anchors our chains to the bralette. Okay, so now we're going to turn our work. So now we're going to turn our work. And then we are going to now do one single crochet. Let me do it this way. <laughs> now we're going to do one single crochet into the back loops only of each stitch. So you go into that back loop. So the back loop is, if you look at um these stitches here you have the v so you'll go into this back loop over there okay so you'll just go into the back loop of each stitch across all the way to the end Yeah. So if you did um, the amount of chains that I did, so I chained 16, but because you worked in the second chain from hook, we would have essentially have 15 stitches for our ribbing. Yeah, so now I'm nearly at the end here again. Okay, so now at the last stitch, just going to your last single crochet and then you're going to turn your work again and then again you're just going to go insert your hook into the back loop only and do your single crochet and then you will continue to place one single crochet into the back loop only all the way down until you get to the base of the bralette So you'll just keep on going. Okay, and then now I'm at the end, I'll just slip stitch to the next stitch on the base so wait so i slip stitched into there already okay so if you look carefully we have really slip stitched into the first two stitches so we need to go over to the next stitch i'm going to slip stitch in there and then slip stitch into the next stitch over and then repeat that again so you'll turn your work and then insert your hook into the back loop only of that first stitch and then do your single crochets into the back loops only so you do two slip stitches into the base because so when you come down towards the base and slip stitch you are you are the first slip stitch that you do you are anchoring that last row that you did to the bralettes and then when you slip stitch into the next stitch you're anchoring that the next row that you'll be doing to the bra bralettes if that makes any sense so i'll show you now when we go back down there again so again you'll just repeat this all the way so essentially you'll just be repeating these two rows So 
so now that I'm at the base now I've just done my last stitch so now if we look carefully we have gone into this stitch that stitch there and then the previous three one two three stitches yeah so now we're gonna skip this stitch over there and then go into the next stitch so now this row that we just did it's going to get anchored by the slip stitch that we're doing now and then when we slip stitch into the next stitch and then turn and then do our stitches this next row is now anchored by that first slip stitch that we did or the second one i should say not the first one the second one Yeah, so you just repeat this. Yeah, so now you just repeat these two rows alternating um, the back loop only row. And you'll just keep doing that until you get this nice beautiful ribbing that you see here. So you'll just repeat that making sure to slip stitch um, twice into the base before uh, doing your next row. Yeah, so you just repeat this all the way across the length of the bralette and then I'll come back once we are finished with that. And you just got to make sure that you go into this last stitch. I know that sometimes it does look like that there's no stitch there, but you've just got to make sure to go into that last stitch. Yeah, so you can go off and repeat that all the way across the length of the bralette. And then I'll come back and show you that at the end. Okay guys, so I am back and um, I have finished the ribbing at the bottom and I am loving the way this looks. Um, this is exactly how I pictured it in my head, which I'm so stoked about. Okay, so I'm nearly finished with the ribbing here. Um, after working my ribbing, I noticed that I have one row left. Um, not one row, sorry, if I have one stitch left, I would have loved to have zero stitches left by the end of this, but it's okay. Um, so what we're going to do, okay, so I actually, let me just explain what I would, what I would like to do. So I would like to create, um, like buttonhole loops or whatever you'd call it. I like to make loops on the side, on both sides, so we can thread our, our ribbon through. Uh, so the... The way we wanted to do that, or the way I wanted to do that, was crochet from the edge, do two rows, one with chains, and then the next row just working into some of those chains and the other stitches. Um, but since I have one stitch left, it's no biggie. So what we are going to do is I am just going to continue crocheting uh, this row as normal. So let me just zoom in here for you guys. Okay, so I'm just going to... Uh, Finish crocheting up my last row. Okay. I'm actually so excited for this bralette. Um, I'm actually trying to get this finished tonight. I literally don't have much to go on this thing, um, which I'm so stoked about. So I literally just need to do the button loops and then, um, then I need to do the straps and then add the ribbing. So not the ribbing, the ribbon. <laughs> so yeah, it's not much I need to do. Okay. Yeah. I've worked into the last one now. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to slip stitch into that last stitch. Yarn over, pull through, and then pull through that loop on your hook to end off. And now it's perfectly in line with the rest of our stitches. 
So now what we're going to do is we're just going to snip our yarn. I'm just going to grab my scissors here. Snip your yarn. And you're going to yarn over and pull that through. And then what we're going to do is we are now going to join our yarn into the corner into the corner stitch which the way i worked into this these stitches it is very tight on this corner okay so we're going to insert our hook into the corner stitch we're going to yarn over pull through then we're going to yarn over do a chain one and then into that same stitch you're just going to do your one single crochet and then we are just going to place one single crochet in the next stitch then we'll chain one skip one and then do two two sorry do one single crochet in the next two stitches i don't know if maybe that's too big okay <laughs> sorry i'm designing this as a go i'm just so excited to finish this bralette um okay so we're gonna do two single crochets and then chain two skip two and then do two single crochets one two chain two one two skip two and then chain two skip two and then two single crochet and then chain two skip two and then one single crochet into the last stitch which i think the next stitch is a slip stitch so i'm just gonna just try and work into that stitch and then do one single crochet into the next stitch and then chain two skip two and then one single crochet chain two sorry i missed one stitch there so you do two single crochets, chain two, one, two, and then two single crochets, chain two, and then skip two, and then do two one single crochet in the next two stitches, and then one, two, skip two, and then one single crochet into the next two stitches, chain two, skip two, one single crochet into the next two stitches, chain two, skip two, two single crochets into the next stitch, sorry, one single crochet into the next two stitches, and then chain two, skip two, and then two single crochets. Okay, so now I'm coming to the end here. I have one more stitch left, so I'm just gonna um, just do essentially just three single crochets on the end there and then what you want to do is you just want to turn your work turn your work and then we are just going to place one single crochet to each stitch and chain space across okay so in the chain two spaces put two single crochets and you just continue this across Placing one single crochet in each stitch across and in the chain two spaces, just put uh, two chain two, uh, sorry, put two single crochets. Sorry, it has been such a long week. Um, I was actually on a one week break um, from college this week. Um, the day that I'm recording this is on a Friday evening, um, or Friday I should say. Um... But yeah, this week has just been so hectic and I literally only feel now that towards the end of my week that I can actually relax and just enjoy crocheting. Um, whereas, like, just this whole week, I just, I felt like I wasn't even having a holiday. And, um, like, I was running around, I was doing things, um, because my mom was actually in hospital, she... She fell off a ladder and uh, shattered her knee and so I was running around with her and um, yeah and I've, I've just been so exhausted from college this whole week. Um, I've barely been getting any sleep uh, this week. Oh no I made a mistake. I did one single crochet. 
Oh, and you know, she said, no. Okay, I'm going to fix that real quick. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> okay, apologies about that. Um, but yeah, so my mom had the accident about like three months ago. Um, so yeah, she's still trying to walk again. So yeah, I've had to run around with her so a few times and um, it's just been really, really hectic this the beginning of this week and yeah, I just felt like I didn't really have a holiday and um, yeah, I didn't really do much crocheting this holiday. I've literally finished a bush baby keychain that was in order that, that I received like three months ago, um, which is crazy and I just, I haven't been, a I wasn't able to pick it up because wants to continue with it because of of college you know i mean it's it's so stressful the the, the amount of work that we do is just insane um yeah sometimes i really just go through bad moments of just you know just getting so overwhelmed and i just want to give up because it's it's, it's so time consuming and it's funny because some of my lecturers even say to me I'll say to the students, or some students, or some lecturers have said to me, like if I'm so tired, so battered, so broken from all of the assignments and I come into college and, you know, so much is going on and whatever, and then, you know, they turn around and say, um, you should get some rest. How am I supposed to get rest if I have a thousand assignments to do each week? <laughs> um, but anyway, enough waffling on about that. Um, so now I've made it to the end and look at how neat and gorgeous that looks. So we're just going to take a scissors and snip our yarn and, and off. And now we can do the exact same thing for the other side and then I'll come back and I'll show you what to do for the straps and then we can add the, the ribbon. I am so super excited about this. I literally can't wait for this to be finished. I'm hoping to wear this tomorrow because we have a sip and paint tomorrow, um, which I'm really excited about. I'll be painting a toucan, so we'll see how well that goes. Um, yeah, I will um, I'll insert a picture of it um, in the video somewhere. Um, yeah, because obviously I'm going to edit this video maybe on Sunday. Um, so yeah, I'm really stoked about this and I want to wear this tomorrow so yeah okay let's get on with it okay so now I am back and I've made it to the end so I'm just going to grab my scissors and just snip my yarn I'm going to yarn over and pull up and pull through or pull through and pull up <laughs> okay so now that is all done and now it is time to do the straps I am so excited guys you have no idea okay let me zoom out a bit Okay, there we go. Look, look at how cute this is. Isn't it just adorable? <clears throat> I love this. Okay, let's get on with the straps. Okay, so now we are going to divide for the straps. So I have already done it just to get an idea of where the strap should go. Because I don't really feel like struggling on camera. Okay, so I'm just going to explain quickly. Um, so what I did is I folded this in half. I folded this in half. Sorry. I folded, folded this in half, then I marked the center stitch, which is over here. So I marked the center stitch, and then from there, I took one side, moved it to that center mark, and then marked again the center. And then from there, from there, I went and I took this edge, moved it into that center, to that mark there. And then marked the center of that and then folded this over and marked the center of that okay so that is basically what i did in order to get this right because um if i put this up against me this is this just comes like probably 10 centimeters away from my arm um on either side um which that is kind of what i wanted um, and hopefully with us putting the ribbon in, it will stretch out the bralettes and give us the shape that we want. Um, okay, so that is the way that I've set it out. So you mark your center, and then you mark the center of 
this portion or that portion and then you mark the center of that portion and then you mark the center of this outer portion sorry my desk is in such a mess <laughs> um so yeah that is the way that i've marked it out let me just zoom you guys back in okay so so yeah so you fold it in half mark that stitch then you fold this edge to that other stitch marker mark it mark it there then you take that edge and mark it there to get your um to get where you need to do um to do your sleeves sorry not the sleeves the straps okay so what we're going to do is i'm just going to remove my stitch marker um and then i'm just going to place my hook okay so there's the middle stitch there okay so what we're going to do is we're going to crochet a strap that is like three or four single crochet stitches wide because i find that with bralettes doing chains and single crochets um like it's not very comfortable and it actually digs into my skin which is not very comfortable yeah so yeah there is just four stitches let me just make sure that that is centered okay yeah, i would say that is centered okay yeah. and then we just turn our work and then just do one single crochet in each stitch across and then you will just repeat this and then you will just repeat this all the way for the whole length of your strap you want you can always take a pin and pin the strap down to the other side yeah so basically we'll be crocheting here and then we'll join we'll join to this stitch marker here if i'm not mistaken so we'll crochet um the strap all the way and then um we will join it to about here uh plus minus there okay so you can just repeat this um just placing one single crochet into each of the four stitches um and what you can do is you can, sorry, you can work your strap um, and then when you feel the desired length, you can pin it down and then like try it on, see how it fits. Um, so I've worked out for me um, that 10 rows from the stitch marker is where I should place um, the other end of the strap. So if we count here, let me just zoom in. Um, so if we count here uh the stitch marker that i have it in is this beginning of this row so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so you can count the ridges if that helps so these v stitches is the top of that one row and so is this okay so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten wait did i miscount there <laughs> okay so it is one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so over there so i'm just going to place my stitch marker there so i know that that is that is where i will join my strap to yeah so you can continue um, crocheting your strap until you get to the desired length as i said you can try this bralette on and see the strap um you don't want it to how should i put it um crochet stretches um so don't crochet it exactly to 
um, I like how it fits, like if it fits nicely on your shoulder. Um, I guess you like, I guess you can make it like a little bit tight, but not too tight because yeah, as I said, crochet will stretch, and you don't want it so tight that even after it stretches, you know, it's still tight on your shoulders. Um, but yeah, so you can just crochet. Um, you can just continue this, crocheting the length of strap that you need. Okay, yeah, then I'll come back and I'll show you um, what to do to join the strap. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I am back and um, I have done 50 rows, which I feel like it's a good amount. Um, and I feel like this this length of single crochet stitches won't pull up the, um, what would you call it, won't pull up the bralette at the back. And I feel like it won't be too tight or too loose where it will fall off me. Um, okay, so what we want to do now is now we want to connect it to our um our marker here so you just want to make sure um you just want to make sure that your your single crochet strap is not twisted so i'm just going to remove that stitch marker there because i can see where that stitch is um so we want to slip stitch this to um to the bralette so what we're going to do is we're just going to insert our hook into that first stitch and then so there's the middle so we need to go over two stitches so i'm going to insert my hook over here i'm going to insert my hook over here and then just do a slip stitch yeah, and again insert my hook into the next stitch go into the next stitch over yarn over and pull through and do a slip stitch and again go into the next stitch and then go into that stitch where you marked off do a slip stitch and again go into that next stitch and then do a slip stitch and then hopefully that won't come loose at all um and then what we're going to do is we can just grab our scissors and we can snip our yarn and then we can repeat the same process for the strap on the other side so again what we will do is we will we will join our strap over here um sorry we'll join our strap over here at this stitch marker and then we'll count 10 stitches from or 10 rows from this stitch marker which will give you about maybe here um so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yeah so over there um i'm just going to take this stitch marker here so over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So over there is where we need to connect our straps. Okay. Okay, so you can go off and you can do the other strap. And then I'll come back and I'll show you what it's like after that. Okay, so now it is time to cut the ribbon. Um, I have finished the straps. I'm going to leave the tail ends to last because, yeah, I want to make sure that this thing fits properly and looks good. Um, so yeah, let's get on to the ribbon. Okay, so I'm just going to grab a piece of ribbon here. Okay, so... I think I should just go for, maybe, let's see, I think I'm just going to go for a meter of ribbon, so approximately a meter, 
maybe I'll cut just a little bit more. Um, yeah, maybe I'll just cut a little bit more just to be on the safe side. But I'm just going to grab some ribbon. I've got about a meter here. Oops, sorry, I bumped the camera. Mm, my bad. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to feed this through. Um, I'm just going to feed this through in and out. Yeah, so I'm just going to start at the top here, like that, and then I'm going to take the one side and weave it down into the next hole. And then I'm going to take this other side and weave it down into the next hole on the opposite side. Uh, and you just open this up and again I'm going to take this strand from the one side and pop it in on the other side okay, and then take this one pop it in through the other side I really hope I cut a long enough um, a long enough piece of uh, ribbon here but we'll soon find out I guess um, okay and then take this other side thread that through take this other side thread it over here okay, and you just repeat this all the way down until you have created a crisscross pattern with the ribbon until you get all the way down contemplating on whether this ribbon is <laughs> is too short yeah i think this ribbon's too short okay but anyway uh we we can just use well i can just use this ribbon for the ribbons on the top here um but yeah so uh i think i need maybe two meters Two meters of ribbon or one and a half meters um we'll see uh but yeah so you would just repeat this in the same manner um it's looking so good already isn't it <laughs> yeah so yeah i'll meet back up with you when this section is finished and then i'll show you how to do the bows at the top okay so now i am back and that was a very very long process i'm not gonna lie that was incredibly long and painful and I cannot believe but I had used 300 meters of ribbon I did not think I would need that much I did think I didn't think that I would need a lot but not that much but anyway um, I managed to get that on I'm much I'm happy about now so I'm gonna leave that for now and I am going to move on to the ribbon in the front. And again, I'm going to leave my tail ends for last minute. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to take some ribbon that I have here now. This is all the excess that I'd cut. So maybe I can go for maybe 50 meters. Yeah, I think 50 meters is okay for now. Um, I can always trim it back. Um... I can always trim it smaller. Um, yeah, I can always trim it smaller at some other stage. Um, yeah, okay, so what I'm going to do is I am just going to tie this on here. don't know how good I am at tying bows, but let's see how this is going to go. I think I really should have got a thicker bow, but uh, not a thicker bow, a thicker ribbon. Um, maybe if I can have you coming through here. Yeah, there you go. And then I think um, I am kind of happy with the way 
this looks. So I think, um, so that's what I'm going to do for the ribbon. Okay, let me just do the other one. I think this is just so cute, I'm not going to lie. I think this is so adorable. Okay. Okay, let's put you in there. Okay, I think this one is a little bit long for tailing, but that's fine. I can always trim that down. Okay, so I think that is about good. Okay, so that's basically what I'll just be doing for the for the bows obviously i'm just gonna cut this shorter to match this length here which I've, i'm happy with this length i think i'm gonna stick to that length um yeah so and then what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna take um a hot glue gun and just um just put a dab of glue behind the knots um or maybe just sew it down in place i'm not sure either i'm gonna hand sew it in place or um just put some hot glue there or fa fabric glue maybe fabric glue might work a little bit better um but yeah so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna snip this so i'm gonna fold this in half just gonna fold this Okay, so once you're happy with the way your bows look and um, once you've adjusted them and trimmed down, um, trimmed the bows to give it this nice little, not bows, ribbons, uh, to give it this nice little, um, what would you call it, inverted triangle shape. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to take our ladder and we're just going to lightly just, just burn the edges. Just lightly, just so that the, um, just so that it doesn't fray.
Okay. So once you're happy with that, um, as I said, if you want, you can dab a finger pot glue behind you. I think I might do that. I might use fabric glue. Um, I don't exactly want these bows to come undone. I want them to stay put in this position. Um, but yeah, I think this is really, really nice. So now the only thing that we need to do is weave in our tail ends. And what I am actually going to do is I'm going to crochet all the way around here. I'm going to take my pink and I'm just going to do one single crochet evenly around the top just to neaten it off because I feel like it does look a little bit untidy. Um, yeah, I do feel it's a little bit untidy with, um, with the, with, with the edges being uneven like that at the top. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to weave in my tail ends. I'm actually really, really happy with this bralette and how it has come out. I haven't tried it on yet. Well, I have tried it on, but I haven't tried it on with the uh, with the tie up at the back. Um, but yeah, I am really, really excited about this. I can't wait to wear this tomorrow. Um, I'm really, really super excited about it. Okay, so I'm just gonna weave in my tail end um in and out through some of the stitches here and then i'm gonna grab my scissors and just snip that short yeah and unfortunately we do have quite a bit of um tail ends to weave in <laughs> I think that is all of the tail ends sewn in. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to cut um, a triangle out of this as well.
And again, I'm just going to grab my Lada and just locky just free. So now the only thing that's left to do now for me, um, you guys could also do this as well if you wanted to. Um, I am just going to crochet around the top of this now. So I'm just going to crochet um, evenly around the top. So I think I'm just going to start on this top corner here. I'm just going to place one single crochet um, into each stitch around with this hot pink or this tiger cerise colour. Yeah. And then when it comes to around here, um, I am just going to maybe just do front post single crochet. So the way you do that is you'll insert your hook into the one stitch um, and come out the other side. You're going to yarn over and pull through, do your single crochet, then you'll insert your hook into the same stitch you came out of and out the other side. Yarn over, pull through, then yarn over, pull through two. And then again, it is um, insert and then yarn over, pull through like that. Yeah, like that. And then just continue doing your single crochets as normal.
So there we go. Is there anything left to do now? Is just snip our yarn and then weave in these last two tail ends and then we're done for the night. Yeah, well, there we go. That is now bralette finished. I really need to clean up my desk after this. <laughs> okay, so this is the bralette finished. Let me just zoom out. Okay, so here's the finished bralette. I'm actually really, really super stoked about this. Um, yeah, I can't wait till I start wearing this. Um, yeah, I feel like this is one of the most comfortable tops that I've ever crocheted, in all honesty. Um, so that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys really enjoyed learning how to crochet this Barbie inspired bralettes. And yeah, I hope you guys learned some new things. And yeah, please support my channel by liking, commenting, and sharing. Um, that is obviously the three way um, that you could do to help me support my YouTube channel. I would really, really appreciate that. Um, it'll just take two seconds of your time to just like, comment, and subscribe, as well as share my YouTube channel and um yeah another way that you can support me um if you guys don't know already um you can give youtube thanks um so in the comment section or underneath my youtube videos it has um a little thanks button there um super thanks and um yeah you can uh you can send me a super thanks and yeah they'll be really appreciative and um yeah, thank you guys for watching and yeah, happy crocheting.